Ever wished you could turn your ideas into flowcharts without learning a single line of code? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using Plant UML and ChatGPT in the simplest way possible. So here's what we are going to build today. And guess what? We are not going to use any complex tools or software, just plain English and ChatGPT. You'll just describe the process in words and ChatGPT will turn that into Plant UML code. And in seconds, you'll have a visual flowchart ready to go. So whether you're a developer, a student, or just someone who loves organizing ideas visually, this method is going to save you tons of time and make your work look super professional. So I'm Brian from Website Learners, and by the end of this video, you'll be creating diagrams like a pro, even if you never coded before. So stick around, this is going to be fun. So let's jump right in. All right, to create a flowchart using ChatGPT, we are going to do three simple steps. The first step is to generate the plant UML code for the flowchart. Now, Plant Human is a simple text-based language that turns written instructions into diagrams like flowcharts. So when you provide ChatGPT with a clear explanation of your process, it generates a Plant Human code based on that. Then you can use that code in any tool that supports Plant Human to instantly view the flowchart. So to generate the code, let's go to ChatGPT. Now here we need to give a clear prompt so it knows exactly what to generate. Now to make things easier, we've made a ready-to-use prompt for you. To get the prompt, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. As you can see, the prompt is designed to ask ChatGPT to generate a plant UML code for the flowchart. Now to generate the plant UML code, copy the prompt, paste it in ChatGPT, and click send. Now as you can see, ChatGPT is asking you to provide a workflow description for your flowchart. So what is a workflow description? It is a simple way to explain the process you want to turn into a flowchart. It's like telling ChatGPT what happens first, next, and so on. So it can turn a sequence into a flowchart. In this video, I'm going to create a flowchart for the employee onboarding process. So the description should be like this. It starts with the initial step. Is the candidate selected? If yes, send the offer letter. If no, end the process. And it continues based on the process you're creating. However, ensure that the information you provide is as detailed as possible, which makes it easier to create the flowchart. Once you've entered the workflow description, ChatGPT generates a plant UML code for the flowchart. So now you successfully generated the flowchart code using ChatGPT. So let's move on to the second step, which is to convert the plant UML code into a flowchart. To convert the code into a flowchart, we are going to use a free web-based platform that can display a diagram in a visual format. To use this tool, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to the draw.io homepage. It is a free user-friendly online tool for creating flowcharts, diagrams, and visuals. So to convert the code into visual, click here, go to advanced, select plant UML, and here we need to add the code we created using ChatGPT. Before that, first let's delete this. Now to copy the code, go to ChatGPT, copy the plant UML code, come back to draw.io and paste it here. Once you've added the code, click insert, and as you can see, Draw.io has turned your code into a flowchart that matches the workflow description that we provided. However, you don't have the options to customize the flowchart once it is generated. Also, the process has many steps and the code gets complicated and the diagram won't be easy to understand. If you're looking for a more flexible and a cleaner look, you can try mermaid.js, a similar tool that turns text into neat and easy to read diagrams. Okay, now we successfully converted the plant UML code into a visual flowchart. Next, we can move on to the final step, which is to export the flowchart. So to export the flowchart, click File, go to Export As, select the format you want. I'm going to select the PNG format. Now click Export, give a name to the file, and click Save. Now it will be downloaded to your computer, and if we open it, you can see that we have successfully exported the flowchart. And that's it guys, this is how you can create a flowchart using ChatGPT. Website Learners is now available on WhatsApp. Whenever we have a new video, it comes on this WhatsApp channel. So to join us on WhatsApp, just scan the QR code and click this link. Now click on this follow button and that's it. You'll now receive the latest updates on WhatsApp. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to Website Learners to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.